This is the PBA on ABC. Inaasahang maging makulay at kapalapalabig ang sago pa ang ito ng Barangay Hinebra at ng Red Bull Barako sa pag-uumpisa ng semi-final round ng ating Smart Fiesta Conference for 2008 at ang isang prueba dyan ay ito pong dami ng ating mga kapwa suki ng PBA na nagsinagsan dito sa Puneta Astrodome upang makita nga ang laban ng ito sa semis ng Hinebra at ng Red Bull. Dalawang import, high profile encounter ito mga kaibigan. Pareho mga 7 quarter Chris Alexander ng Barangay Hinebra at siyempre pa si Adam Parada ng Red Bull Barako. Alam natin na mortal no karibal ang dalawang kumulang nito. Ang Barangay Hinebra at ang Red Bull Barako ay apat na beses sa buong nagtagpo in playoff since 2004 lamang doon sa ang uh, Red Bull pero siyempre bawat confidence nag-iiba ang uh, kondisyon at sitwasyon lalong-lalo na ngayon nagkaroon sila ng palitan ng muka <laughs> ng palitan ng player si Junti Valenzuela nasa Hinebra na matagal na matagal yan ng ating Red Bull Magandang gabi po Pilipinas Luzon, Visayas at Pindanao Kamusta ka muli ha? Sa Kamisayan o sa Kamindanawan at ganyan din sa ating mga manonood sa ibang bansa Ed Fixon po lamang Kasama si Jason Webb para sa ABC5 at ng Philippine Basketball Association Chak na magugustuhan natin itong laban ng ito, Jason Itong dalawang team na to Of course, they have had a measure of success but the way they got there is different Para sa Red Bull, lumakas sila through subtraction dahil nawala nga yung iba nilang mga players may mga iba na mga mga players na sumikat at sila ngayon nagdadala ng Red Bull. Ang resulta, ganun pa rin. They're back in the semifinals. On the other hand, itong Barangay Hinebra, they had a massive makeover. Karamihan, karamihan dito sa mga players na nasa Barangay Hinebra ngayon was not there in their last finals appearance which happened to be in the Philippine Cup a couple of years back. Well, speaking of a couple of years back, Since 2004, namanggit nga natin mga kaibigan, ay apat na beses na po nakikita-kita itong dalawang kupo ng ito in a playoff. At uh, ayan, nag-umpisa noong 2004 Fiesta Conference, Jason. Ironically, in 2004, eh, this was the first year na yung ABC5 ay nag-handle yeah, ng coverage. Right. And uh, it started off with Barangay Hinebra taking the uh, first series there 3-1. to one. But from 2005 Fiesta Conference, the 05-06, Fiesta Conference once again, which was a best of seven. And in the 2005 Philippine Cup Quarterfinals, which was a best of five, lahat yun, it pumunta in the hands of Red Bull. Actually, it has been a one-sided affair so far lately in favor of Red Bull. Nakita natin yung tatlong serye na yun have gone the way of Red Bull. And in this conference, itong uh, Barangay Hinebra, hindi rin nanalo dito sa Red Bull. Well... Dahil na sinasabi natin, no, iba-iba ang sitwasyon, tingnan natin kung anong mangyayari rito. Itong Barangay Hinebra, nabanggit mo nga, uh, Jason, medyo napukumahog ito nung umpisa. 0-5, mga kaibigan, ang uh, unang record na naitala nitong Barangay Hinebra in this conference. At uh, marami na ang halos eh, sumuko. Ay, mga fans ng Barangay Hinebra, gutom na gutom. Hindi na kasi kumakain dahil wala silang gana dahil natatalo yung kumpanan nila. Hindi biro yan. Ha? Marami ko kilala ko rin. Pagka natatalo Hinebra, hindi na nag-aapunan. Kaya marami nakapag-reduce. <laughs> well, nag-reduce sila dahil yan ang simula ng 0-5 start nila. Hinebra could not find the right import for them. Pero nung dumating na itong si Chris Alexander, what a turnaround that. They were 12-3 since Alexander's arrival. They are on an 8-game win streak. And in their last 12 games, 11 of, the, 11 of those have been victories. Yung isang talo na yun, alam mo kung kanino nang galing? Kanino? Sa Red Bull. <laughs> <dyan>, Siyempre. <laughs> yun na nga yun, mga kaibigan. At uh, alam natin naman, ito Red Bull, in contrast, sabi nga ni Jason, ano, ang ganda ng umpisa ng uh, Red Bull. Seven wins and two losses as they started their rampage here in the Fiesta Conference. At uh, I'd like to give credit where credit is due. 
yung kanila pagkakahugot o pagkakakuha nitong import nila na si Adam Parada napakalaking bagay 7-footer kaagad sumantalang iba nangapangapa pa nung makita nilang ba okay pala yung uh, ganong klaseng import kita mo nag nag, nag uh, salihan nila sila doon sa bandwagon kumbaga well, that's what a lot of teams had to adjust to nung nakakita nila itong Red Bull nangapuha ng 7-footer that was effective they were 7-2 and to start the uh, first round of the elimination and of course they were solid all throughout they were able to finish second in the elimination phase again got automatic uh, seat to the semi-finals etong Red Bull hindi biro dahil ginagamit nila lahat ng mga players nila and di mo alam kung sino magiinit para sa isang araw alright mga kaibigan bago po natin upusahan ang labanan ng Red Bull at ng Barangay Hinebra pakinggan muna natin si Patricia Bermudez he's on and hey Watch about this game. Patricia. Thank you so much kasama ng nakausap ko kanina. Itong si Coach John with Chico. And for them, you guys were talking about Adam Parada. Limiting Adam Parada and of course, uh, stopping Red Bull's running game will be the key factors in winning this series. And by the way, Coach John with Chico said na mas pabor sa kanila kung magiging maikli lang ang seri na to. Pero hindi siya, hindi niya gusto magbigay ng kanyang fearless forecast. On the other hand naman, Coach Yang Giao really actually told me that it would be to their favor if their series actually goes long. And he even said that his fearless forecast is that Red Bull will win in seven games. Now, in addition to that, he knows that they can do that if they stop the most potent guard squad there is, out-rebound Chris Alexander, of course, on the offensive rebound most particularly, and sustain the pressure all the way. Back to you, Ed and Jason. Maraming salamat, Patricia. At narinig na po ninyo ang silbato ng barko ng hudyat, mga kaibigan, para po sa mga players ay magsibalik na sa kanilang bench. At kanina, nabanggit ko'y pagkakakuha nila kay Adam Parada uh, kasama Jason. Alam mo, ang uh, responsable dyan, eh, kaibigan natin, si Dr. J. Andy Howe. Yan ang pumili talaga ng uh, uh, import nila na si Adam Parada. Kaya naman, uh, parang uh, parada ng lechon ang uh, sunod-sunod na panalo ng uh, Red Bull sa unang bahagi nito. Siyempre, nung uh, second uh, half ng eliminations, Medyo umuha na rin ng mga ganong klaseng import yung mga kalaban at na-scout na rin si Adam Parada. Medyo nagkaroon ng konti pagbaba yung kanilang win-lose record. But again, we would like to say this is a different story altogether. Semi-finals na ito. Kung sino po ang makakaakyat ng level na kanilang laro, yun ang mananaig. Dahil ito, wala nang atrasan, wala nang second chance. All the best of seven ito. Ah, nililinaw po natin yan, mga kaibigan, ang ating semi-final round ay best of seven. Ayan ang starting unit ni Coach Yang Diao ng Red Bull. As usual, looking very serious. Ayan si Coach Yang Diao, pero tanong pala pinuling na tao yan pag nakilala nyo. Amasana naman si Coach John Wichiko, pinasok pa rin at pinakalala rin ang kanyang starting unit. At handshakes all around. Yan po ang mga players para sa Barangay Ginebra ni Coach John Wichigo. Isa rin na seryosong tao ito. At siya naman, very soft-spoken kahit na sa tulay na buhay. Alright, first possession. Kinuha ni Topex Robinson. Para sa Red Bull, akala ko ilay-lay up eh. Nick Tanisi, Cyrus Baguio against Chris Pacana. Hansi defense. That's gonna be a tough matchup para dito kay Chris Pacana. Of course, Chris Pacana hindi naman siya kalakihan but may not have enough foot quickness para sabayan nito si Cyrus Baguio. We're talking before the game and ito, prime opportunity para kay Cyrus Baguio para lalo pang makilala at para to build his name here in the PBA. Good job, but he's had an offensive rebound, but missed it right there in close range. J.J. Valkerbrand, likewise, unable to score. Fast break play here, Rich Alvarez. In the basket, Topex Robinson. Robinson, subak. Hey! Si Chris Alexander, yeah, pare! Nagulat din siya. Billy Pavareo takes it away. Pakana! Hey, right with it over to J.J. Valkerbrand in the first two points of the game. Yeah, that's what you do when there's a turnover. You have to push it down the court. Nakita doon natin doon. Eventually, numbers para sa Barangay Hineta. Woo! Two straight turnovers right now for the Red Bull. A little tentative and at the start, you know. And see, Rich Alvarez, mukhang siya nagiging focus ng opensa. 
ng uh, Red Bull in the early going. At alam natin, ano, that uh, he is really expected to provide leadership as he fouls Junti Valenzuela. Well, alam naman na lahat, ano, si Junti, napakatagal po yan. Diyan nag-umpisa, actually, si Red, si, uh, sa Red Bull, si uh, Junti, and he acknowledges it. As a matter of fact, I talked to him last Monday. At uh, sinasabi niya, ano, napakalaki ng itong maloob ko sa Red Bull. Pero, sabi niya, ganito talaga ang buhay professional. Uh, Doon ka pupunta kung saan ka dadali ng hangin. And you have to think para sa Red Bull, this is a trade that you didn't think would bite you in the butt this early. Of course, the trade Grabe, happened no? at the start of this conference. Hindi naman na ma-expect. Ito pang, red, uh, ito pang Barangay Hinebra, ang makakalaban nila para sa best of seven to make it to the finals. And of course, Junti Valenzuela becoming even more important dahil wala si Ronald Dugan. The irony of irony. Cyrus Baggio, Tofex is open. Wala. And Rich Alvarez had a touch on the ball. Pero nabitawan na ako ni Chris Bacana para sa Parangay Pinebra. Junti underneath, Will Palpal. And Mick Panisi picks it up para sa Red Bull over to Cyrus Baggio. Sinasa mo mo ni Chris Bacana. Baggio. Jumper is good. First two points for Red Bull. And you can see Chris, what Chris Bacana is doing. Alam niyang padating si Cyrus Baggio. He's backing up. Try to challenge Cyrus Baggio to make that first shot from the outside. And what Cyrus has done this year, this conference rather, he has been taking that short jumper and he has even extended it to a three-point line. Oh, speaking of the three-point line, he has pledged to be J.J. Meltebrand to put Barangay Hinebra on top by five. Another turnover by Red Bull. Meltebrand leads him in the mound. But he will ask Chris Alexander. Para sa rebound, rifles it out to help the brand once again. Ay ginagal na nga sa harapan ni Topex Robinson. Dili pa ba rin. Balik-ulik kay Helterbrand with the screen from Billy. Sa pool na naman! He has this! And it is a 10-2 count. Definitely both teams will be shooting a lot of threes. Pareho silang marami kinitirang three-pointer. But one thing that they were supposed to do was defend the three-point line very well. Number one and number two in the league. So far, yung mga numero yun, not being true para sa Red Bull. Dahil nakakasyot itong Marangay Hinebra. Ayan na naman si Helderbrand! Helderbrand has a total of 11 points. 11 of the 12 so far posted by Marangay Hinebra. Here's the problem para sa Red Bull. Yung mga guardsa nila, hindi kalakihan. They can put ball pressure, but with the size of JJ Helderbrand, pag talon niya, eh kayang-kaya niya right over guys like ito uh, Topex Robinson. Grabe yung baglaan doon ah. Nakita ko, sa ensa, ensa. Si Billy Bavaril against uh, Big Pinesi. Parehong, uh, ano eh, parehong hindi maatras eh. Talaga namang uh, salubungan na. Big Penisi gets two shots. Ten point lead by Barangay Hinebra at the outset. Samantala, panoorin natin itong ginawa ni J.J. Hunteran, ating TM Press King. Ay hadit sa inyo ng bagong TM Discarte Sim. 30 pesos lang, may bagong Discarte ka na. At magandang Discarte ni Penisi to bounce that ball in. For their fourth point, namang ng walo ang barangay hindi ay sa kasalubuyan. Ano ito si Junki Valenzuela? Down low to Chris Alexander. Alexander, then a basket Chris Bacana. Bacana in front of Paranda. Wala. Alexander tries to jump in. Billy Mamarin. Alexander in there. And Nick Penisi trying to check himself. Pero nagkaroon na ng contact. At uh, si referee Boy Cruz who is working uh, this game together with uh, referee Aldama and referee Guevara. Yeah, at the start of this coverage, sabi ni Patricia, one of the things that concerns Coach Yang Giao is rebounding. Yep. Ito yung mga problema, Chris Alexander, a monster of offensive rebounds. Ay mo bigyan ng mga additional opportunities sa itong uh, Barangay Hinebra. <laughs> si Billy Mamaril gusto na kagat ng offensive rebound, eh, dalawang free throw <laughs> as a coach uh, Yang Giao uh, and the uh, coach Ruel Nadirata as a coach and that Alexander pala don't get into July 20 bukas ah ngayon ah ngayon pala July 20 oh 
He's uh, he turned 28 today. Chris Alexander, Barangay Ginebra. Thank you. Paris Baguio against Chris Macana. Subak sa loob. Whoa! away by Chris Alexander. Duke de Valenzuela, who has run it, pull it away. Sakit mo. Ito si Cyrus Baguio, gustong uh, makabalik. Ayaw na naman, si Alexander pinagpala naman. Oh, nagpala pinagpala din ni Billy Mabalil. Ano ba ito? Ang dami ng nalulok na bola ng mga taga Red Bull. Una si Alexander pinagpala. Ito, palawaro natin. Pinagpala ni Alexander. At uh, ah, ito yung kanina. Ano, ito, yung sumunod na palpalan. Adam Parada, Billy Bomarilla, ang sumapal. Libre sana si Cyrus ni Selang, hindi na ito. Oh, oh, Chris Alexander takes it away! At this quarter, they're really dominated by Barangay Ginebra. Red Bull has to be able to control things that this, this game could get out of hand very early. Uh, it is very early and it is a big lead by Barangay Ginebra. Two team misses. Sa kanila pa rin. Three-point shot! Wala. And finally, Big Pelisi holds down the rebound. Cyrus Baggio runs over the opposition. Offensive foul. And right now, Cyrus Baggio getting a little frustrated. A lot of times he has been going to the lane. May have felt he got fouled a number of times going to the lane. That time, forced the issue. Sa patuloy ang nakuha na ng offensive foul. Ito nga, makikita dalaway sa malubong sa kanya. Nagsumiksik. At uh, si Chris Pacana drew attention uh, to that move. Uh, Ginawagan nga ng offensive foul si Cyrus Baguio. Alexander against Pelisi. Junti. Okay. Oh! Pasak! Uh, uh, Junti may have traveled. Hindi napansin yun, but uh, eventually became a nice uh, drop pass. Uh, the break's really going for Barangay Ginebra at the moment. Natawagan pa na, may natawagan pa ng foul. And Chris Alexander will have two opportunities from the line. And usually it's the more aggressive team that is rewarded. In the early start portions of the game, the more aggressive team is Barangay Ginebra. So they're the ones getting the fouls. They're the one that's been able to stop itong offense ng Red Bull. Well, they hit the road uh, running. They hit the ground running as it were. At uh, tuloy-tuloy nga, itong pagratsyada ng uh, Barangay Ginebra as they post a 12-point lead. Uh, Mick Pelisi, top of the key. Ayo rin. At si Chris Alexander doing uh, his job off the boards. Elder Brad, Malacas Antira, Adam Parada. On to Cyrus Baguio, humaharunan ka naman si Cyrus. Subaksak, pinabot kay Tupex. Pumasok ang tira, nakakopo ng foul. One of the few opportunities we've seen and the few successes that we've seen at the Red Bull. There, Chris Pacana tried to draw the charge. At ayun, nakakuha patuloy si Topex Robinson ng end one. Red Bull really bleeding for their point dito sa ating unang quarter. We gotta start somewhere. At ito si Topex Robinson at saka si Cyrus Baguio are two of the most intense players in the... Ay, nakita mo, intensity ni Topex Robinson, ha? A little guy who can rebound. And he gets the pass from Parada. Misses the shot. And Alexander gets the rebound. Helferbrand. Bakana is open. Well, that's bonus. Oh, bonus right there, yeah. Ed. Para kay Chris Bakana. Not really expected to make that outside shot. Fast break situation. He makes that. Everything going the way of Paraka Hineta. Well, looks like Red Bull wants to uh, grab it back uh, in a haste. In, in haste huh? And they're going to get out of the Elder Brand, the uh, uh, player of the shot, Topex Robinson. Parada, top of the field. It's a lot of people who are going to get out of the field. It's a lot of people. That's really what they do. No? They like to set up their, their uh, offense quickly. But sometimes, pag hindi pumasok, hindi nagiging maganda ang itsura. At katulad ng nangyayari ngayon, at daming opportunities ng Barangay Ginebra, sila naman ang mga oportunidad nila, hindi pumapasok. Guess whose time out this is? Barangay Ginebra. At uh, babalik po kami, wala rito sa Kuneta Astro.
West Quarter Action pa lang mga kaibigan ng labanan ng Wilbur uh, at ng uh, Barangay Hindebra. Eh talagang uh, hindi na magkamayaw dito sa Pineta Astrodome. Pagkahan natin si Patricia for a report on Juti Valenzuela. Pat! Well, lahat nga nakafocus dito sa magiging ganti ni Juti Valenzuela who seems to be settled already with his new team. Although alam niya na may advantage din siya dahil alam niya yung quirks ng Red Bull Barako. He's also scared because Red Bull knows how to get to him. At aminado siya na kainitin ang ulo niya. Ang pagkinawa ni Patricia na order rin yung mga kabataan niya na para painitin ang ulo ni Juti Valenzuela, he's afraid that he's gonna lose focus in this ballgame. But about Coach Yengia, malaking puri pa rin ang binibigay niya kay Juti Valenzuela who knows that uh, he's uh, providing a lot of stability for uh, the Barangay Hineba Gin Kings and uh, that has been the best move the Barangay Hineba Gin Kings uh, being uh, uh, acquiring rather Junti Valenzuela in their lineup. He provides control and stability and he's doing all of that without upstaging the Fast and the Furious and Coach Yang Yao thinks that that's a big factor. Back to you guys. Uh, definitely Junti Valenzuela has helped out a lot but uh, that's why uh, he has earned this uh, starting unit uh, assignment. The Montana Billy Mamaril was called for an illegal pick. That's why the ball is back with Red Bull. Red Chalvarez, in the Cyrus Baguio. Cyrus Baguio is in the of the Chris Macara near Steel. Baguio keeps it alive. He takes it inside. He hands it off to Red Chalvarez. Four seconds on the shot clock. Perfect. Ramos and Apitawa and uh, Bola. And the uh, ball. Uh, uh, the defense of Barangay Hineba holding up very well there. At, uh, well, nasabi na natin, uh, Jason, ano, makailang ulit na rin na turnover ang uh, Red Bull as uh, Coach Yang Yao uh, talks to uh, Cyrus Baguio to give him a piece of his mind. Uh, Cyrus Baguio, expect natin kahit yung defense ni Chris Bacana, but not so far. Chris Bacana, excellent job on Cyrus. That's what he's there for. Pero sabi mo nga, may bonus pa. Dahil nakatira pa ng jump shot si uh, Chris Pacana. Turnover. Para may ibang naman. Ang hinebra naman ngayon ang turnover. At kung narinig ni Puno niya ang hiyawan. Well, hey! Pasa kay... Ang ganda sana nung pasa niya kay uh, Cyrus Baguio. Yung hiyawan ay para doon sa pagtawag ni Coach John Uchiko kay Mark Kagiwa para pumasok na kasama po niya si Paul Artadi. 18 to 6 ang ating uh, score. 12 ang labang uh, ng Barangay Hinebra. Uh, believe ka rin dito sa side ng Red Bull. No panic even if yeah. they're down by 12 points. This is still the same side that started the ball game. And there's inaalaw lang ni Coach Yankel na itong lima na to. To get a feel of the game. Nakita niyo yung turnover. Ito sa Red Bull dalawa lang sa Hinebra. Chris Alexander misses Cyrus Baguio with a quick pass to Topex Robinson. Robinson, the basket, Mick Pinesi, top of the key. Ayo talaga pumasok yung mga long shots. Now Red Bull, and they're getting only one opportunity each time. Juti, the handoff in a tight situation. Broken up. At, uh, and they first uh, substitution. So, uh, panic the Red Bulls, Rich Alvarez, the bas for Kiko Adriano. Kagiwa. As the give and go to Rafi Rivas that uh, blows up in their faces. Now, very interesting that Rafi Rivas was actually the first guy off the bench of Barangay Hinebra. Why? Because Rafi Rivas is the most agile big man that they have. Oh, yeah. Because the big man of Red Bull like to shoot from the outside. So, they have big man no, willing to go out. And yet, si Rafi Rivas is the Barangay Hinebra. Still a turnover. Dami na talaga. Kalat ng turnover ng Red Bull. Walo na yan. Dito pa lang sa first quarter. Juti Valenzuela against Cyrus Baguio. Paul Arcadi versus Topex Robinson. A block is going to be called on Topex. Second personal on uh, Topex Robinson and he is relieved by Salido Cruz. So, Matala, pinasok na rin ni Coach John Uchiko si Sunday Salvacion para kay Juti Valenzuela. 14 on the shot clock here para sa Barangay Hinebra. And again, uh, meron pang uh, wet uh, spot on the hard court. 
Mereka ada yang dikit-dikit-dikit di PSG di PDC ke Alexander And Tandy gets up And Taylor Cruz lose ball out of bounds Red ball Mike Rayback comes in para que Mick Tanisi on the side of Red Bull. Still a 12-point lead here para su barangay Hinebra. Actually, our score hasn't moved for quite some time now. Oh, napakulit niya. Selena Cruz. Kiko Adriano. Cyrus Baguio. Cruz inside to Parada. And it is a Kiko Adriano. Jumper from him. Ayorin. Chris Alexander takes it out of bounds. So, a uh, big break here. But as a Red Bull. Yeah, speaking of Red Bull, just a bad combination. You shoot so poorly, shooting under 14%. Tapos, dadagdagan mo pa yun ng mga turnovers na meron nila. You yeah. might say, they're still lucky na dosin lang ang kalamangan sa kanila. Oh. Ito si Parada, off the glass. Kamalas naman. Medyo malakas kasi. 3 minutes and 14 seconds to go here. In the first quarter, Sunday Salvation with live at the Major Mahina. Paul Artani, with a Siwas game, Mike Kagiwa. Kalikulika Artani at the corner. And Selena Cruz has a rebound. Cyrus Bagg in the front court. Tapped by Artani. And Artani trying to recover it is fouled by Selena Cruz. You have to be worried every time that John C. Paul Artani, he's coming off his best game. Probably of his career, he had six steals in that clincher against Santa Lucia. At alam na natin, live wire yan eh. Hindi mo pwedeng, huwag yung malamya-lamya ipasok dahil aagawin yan. Alright, 2.52 to go in the first quarter. We have a timeout. Jen does a good job of preparing his team, even in a long layoff. Eh. And in a seven-game series, after the first game, tapos na yung rush, eh. That's why we would have rather had a shorter series because we're on a flow. But since the series is seven games, first game, if they're rusty, man, mawala na yun after the first game. Well, that's an explanation. Uh, medyo kinakalawang maaaring uh, totoo yan, ano ba? Pakinggan natin si uh, Patricia, may problema ba si Adam Parada, Pat? Well, meron, Ed, if you notice, nakakinisho tape yung right leg nitong si Parada. Meron siyang right hamstring injury. He pushed himself really hard while working out during the week-long rest. And he may not be 100% physically conditioned, but he did promise that mentally he's 100% ready to rumble with Alexander the Great. Pero ngayon, during the week-long rest, nag-injure siya. Tapos yung week-long na practice nila, hindi siya nakapag-practice at all. So now, he's playing for the first time with this hamstring injury. Back to you guys. You can see he's not as active on the rebound. Oh, yeah. oh. Cyrus Baggio from the corner. Rafi Rivas the rebound. Paul Artani into the front court. Sunday Salvation. Momentarily open. And uh, rebound. Comes down the rebound. Out to Selena Cruz. Kiko Adriano. And another steal by Barangay Hinebra. This time Rafi Rivas. Here's Paul Artani flying high. The back class here, energy level to si Paul Artani. Boom. <laughs> Sorry. Kabanggaan <laughs> lang. And here comes Sanis Baggio off the top by Chris Alexander. On his way down, he lets go of the ball. Now that's the first basket para kay Cyrus Baggio. Rather his fourth point so far, but that's the first highlight film for the day by Roy Simon. The new athletic ability. Here goes Paul Artani. And off, Chris Alexander. Chris Alexander. Ibang pectus na nilagay ni Chris Alexander sa bola na yun. Brave game warning on Chris Alexander. 22 to 8. 14 na. Ang abarte nitong uh, Barangay Hinebra. A minute and 14 to go the first quarter. Adam Parada against Chris Alexander. Dinabas kay Wayback. Selena Cruz swings it over to Kiko. Oh! Na-poo! Na 
para man ang kinababantay bantayan ng mga referees. No, he actually Kiko had that shot Traveling. from the outside but yeah. you can see a lot of these Red Bull players struggling with their confidence. Could be yung sinasabi nila, yung long layoff, yeah. that rust. And especially if you start out cold from the field, lalo mong naiisip, medyo kinakalawang ata yung shooting ko. Pero sa, tama rin yung sinabi ni Coach Joe with Chico. Uh, hindi magtatagal at uh, mawawala rin yung uh, kalawang na yan after they get their basketball legs back. But you know, he was saying that after game one, wala na yung kalawang. But uh, all the teams in the series is that in the best of seven, ang nananalo sa game one, ang score na yun, 66% of the time. Kirip siya. Kirip siya mo lang eh. Hindi mo naman na alam na kung saan pumunta yun eh. Pero swerte. Ayun, maras. Ayaw talaga pumasok ng mga long shot ng Red Bull. 24 to 8. 16 point lead by Barangay Videbra. Arcadi. Ayan, konfiansa na yun. Eh, yan yung kanyang panibagong nadidiscovering tira, yung jump shot. That's just all about confidence. Before, he would never have even looked at that shot. But the last three games have been really good for Paul Arcadi. And you know, it's different when you're playing and you feel that you're on your home court. Playing for Barangay Hinebra, sa araw na to, parang home ang pakiramdam mo. And Paul Artadwi can do no wrong in the eyes of the Barangay Hinebra fans. Kaya lang ba naging away yung Hinebra? Parang naging home yun. Sad to say, for fans of other teams, but you know, I mean, naandun naman ang lahat dyan eh. Pero make no mistake about it, Red Bull has its own legion. Of fans, not as numerous as the Barangay Hinebra, but quite substantial. Ayon si Kiko Adriano finally takes the jumper and beats the buzzer. Teka muna, i-review pa yan ng mga referee, no? Bago maging official. Numbers by Chris Alexander. Eight rebounds, two shot blocks. To go with this six points. At, uh, ano, counted na ba? Yes, it is counted. So, the official score after 12 minutes of play, as you see Chris Alexander being massaged, 16-point lead by Barangay Hinebra. Babalik po kami para sa second quarter. Alam natin mga kabigan ang harapan dito, matchup na Chris Alexander, Adam Parada, dalawang seven-footer. Let's go over to Bianca Lowe for her report on these two awards. Bianca? Yes, guys. Aside from Steve Thomas, ito si Adam Parada na lang ang nananatiling original import dito sa Liga. Kaya naman sinasabi na siya daw ang yorsek ng mga import. Sabi niya, he is honored to have this recognition kasi he's never been recognized like that before. At sabi din niya, nakakailangan daw talaga nating abangan ang matchup nila ni Chris Alexander dahil daw, sabi niya, na si Chris Alexander daw talaga ang nagpabago ng mundo ng Hinebra. Sabi naman ni Chris Alexander, umikot talaga daw ang mundo ng barangay kasi he couldn't do it without his teammates. At as for Parada being the yours, like Aba sabi niya, eh, let the stats speak for itself. Guys, back to you. Ah, <laughs> Inuudyok naman yung <laughs> magkaroon ng rivalry yung dalawa. Pero alam natin na yung dalawang yan talaga, eh, parehong uh, uh, very crucial uh, factors para sa kalinga nilang mga kapulana. No? And uh, it's not far-fetched to think eh, na dapat talagang magtakbo yung dalawang yan. At magdikit na dikit rin naman yung mga numbers na points-wise, they're uh, close to each other as well as field goals. The big number really has to be rebounds. That's plus six for Chris Alexander. And really what the doctor ordered for the Barangay Ginebra. So Mark Aguila missed again. But it's hard to say to me that. I found it only at least for the way I had most of the attempts on the Mark Aguila so far. They get it back. A lot of offensive rebounds here by Barangay Ginebra to help their cause. Eric Link fumbling it. Sunday! Miko Adriano para sa Rita. Binigay kay Salino Cruz. Salino Cruz, tinitignan ang kanyang mga kasama. Mick Pinesi, over to Kiko Adriano. Labang si Mark Kagiwa. Stop and go. Action na. Ayun na naman. Inagaw na naman na hina. Ito na sa pang Arcade. Goodbye. Another turnover, another point of turnover para dito sa Parangay Nebra. Lamadara sa Mark Reba. Comes up with an air ball. Jojo Dulcilla is blocked underneath by Eric Link. Salvacion, binigay kay Rafi Rivas, binabas, Jojo Gonsil, Inagao, 
Dunsil to play today. And uh, the first layout for Georgia Dunsil. Over your uh, UST stalwart. Wide open. Tia Trishan. A miscommunication on the part of Dunsil and Adriano. Kaya na libre si Mark Tagiwa. And you can't leave them open ito si Mark Tagiwa. No way. Giorgio Dulcin goes the other way. Pinipit, uh, Ambassa. Celino Cruz. A lot of one-on-ones now. Oh. Eh? as a red bull. They're really forcing the issue. Not getting into their offense. That's a, that's a uh, look, looking at a team that is panicking and not allowing things to flow. Well, ito na. Si Polartani, tumira na naman sa labas. Eric Mick with the offensive board. Ay, na sinasabi natin eh. Pati suerte Lady Luck is smiling on Barangay Hinebra. Not a shot that would normally go down. Oh, kanina patalikod na tira. Pumasok. Oh. Ngayon naman, eh, baliktad na yung pectus. Pumasok pa rin. And it is a 21-point lead. Si Pumo, hanggang ngayon, ha? Uh, Pusa po tayo ng uh, more than two minutes uh, actually have gone by here in the second quarter. At uh, 20 ulo na ang labang uh, ng uh, Barangay Hinebra. 12 pa lang ang nai-score uh, ng Red Bull. At si Leo Nahorda, pinasok na rin ni Coach Yang Giao para palitan na si Kiko Adriano. Dunsin. Against Rivas. Ang hirap naman ang tira. Eh, nakita niya haba ng galamay dito si Rafi Rivas. Eh, nakuha pa ni Jojo Dunsin na may score. One thing for sure, one thing for sure, Coach Yang Giao will go deep into his bench. Find out who is the hot guy for the day. Right now, si Dunsil pa lang kumukuha ng magandang punto. Yes, eh, malalim-lalim na nahugot siya, na? Jojo Dunsil brought in early by Coach Yen Giao. It's the second team down. 33-14. Ang ating score, 19. Ang lamang ng Barangay Hinebra. Narinito po ngayon ang inyong PBA semifinals sa tayo, ha? Umpusa po ito ng semis. Best of seven between Red Bull and Barangay Hinebra. Leon Ahorda. Finisi. Ahorda sees an opening. Salvation all over him. And Ahorda will have a three-point play opportunity. The starters of Red Bull just couldn't get anything going. Ayon, nandito na sila. They're putting in their bench, guys. Leon Ahorda, this time around, he's got a chance for a three-point play. Giorgio Dunsil, who came from the bench, he's already contributed four points. So, not really talked about itong bench ng Red Bull, pero nakaka-deliver sila. Well, marami nga nang sasabi, walang superstars dyan. Pero alam natin na wala ka rin naman patapong dyan eh. Hindi ba? At anytime, basta sinabi ni Coach Yen Gao, tumasok ka, kailangan handa ka. At saka kailangan sumunod ka. Yes. Yan ang prinsipyo ng Red Bull. Ang prinsipyo ng Boy Scout. Laking hindi ka. Hey! Ito ka pa ang isang mga laking handa si Mark Kakyo with another TM3. Big Tracy, back to Nahorda. Nahorda, subak siya! And the loose ball picked up by Rafi Rivas. But again, to J.J. Helderbrand. Helderbrand looking at his partner. But instead goes to Sunday. Nakawakan na. The big police and the last touch is called on Sunday, Salvation. Samantana, Chris Alexander is sent back in by Coach John Richico para kay Rafi Rivas. Si Adam Parada ng uh, Red Bull, uh, nasa bench pa rin. At uh, nai-report nga kanina ni uh, Patricia Hizon na uh, medyo may iniinda si uh, Adam Parada. Na Horda, Salino Cruz, Nick Penesi from way out. Yeah, finally, TN Trish. As a Red Bull kick, see, of Nick Penesi, he's got five points in the game so far. And that's only the first three para dito sa Red Bull out of nine attempts. Because if you look at Barangay Ginebra, they've already made four three-pointers. Junky Valenzuela. Oh, stick na. Medyo malakas lang. Celino Cruz, tanto na sa ngayon na hawag na sa baba. Pero Celino wants to take the three to hand. He sinks it. He had this para kay Celino Cruz. And this is the biggest run so far engineered by Red Bull in this game. 
Well, cut the lead down to 14. Kanikanina lang, 21 niyan. 13 na lang ngayon. So that's some headway para sa Red Bull. Kaya na wala pa tawag ng timeout. Si Coach John Luchico, 7.41 to go in the second quarter. We'll be right back. Ito po, Kapuno, mga kaibigan, sold out na uh, SRO na din sa loob ng Kuleta uh, as to Dome. Uh, ito po, mga post uh, mga streamers na mga fans, ano? At uh, uh, may mga pusito tayo rito gawa ng uh, National Disability Week, ano? Ito yung po ating pinagdiriwa ngayon, ang National Disability Week. At uh, ito, may mga chikiting po tayo ng uh, para uhin dito at enjoy na enjoy sa panonood ng ating unang araw ng semi-final round. Kanina po, naglaban ng Magnolia and Air 21. Marahil, alam nyo na, no, na wala pa yung import ng Air 21 na si Stephen Thomas. Kaya medyo nahirapan sila kanina. No? And uh, Magnolia took game one to the tune of 113 to 87. They're still... Nakuha ulit yung kaliwa. Binigay kay JJ Libre. Pero wala. Si Lino Cruz forward to Giorgio Dunsil. Binabot pa niya yung bola. Pero nandun na si Junti. Si Lino Cruz. Pag-forward pa na naman. Pero wala. Well, that could have been a big one para yeah. dito sa Red Bull. They're doing this run with uh, Adam Parada on the bench. Kaya pero titignan mo yung parang kahineta. Pinasok na nila yung import nila. Just to quell this run. And here is Chris Alexander. Uh, siya nakagad ang pinuntahan ng barangay Hinebra. Foul on the floor on uh, Mick Penisi. Second personal on Penisi. And the uh, shot clock, of course, is reset to 14 seconds. Napangit po si Adam Parada. Ayun, nag-report na sa official stable. Eric Mink. Kagiwa. Labang kay Dunsi. And he shoots over Giorgio. As Pinesi taps it up, a good boxing out tactic there by Big Pinesi. Wala magawa si Chris Alexander. Exacto, exacto. Hindi naman siya kalakihan, pero inatrasan niya lang. And Celino Cruz on the other side. Scores another TM Tres. Ito, coming off the bench, Celino Cruz delivering the goods para sa Red Bull. Sampu na lang ito. We say sampu na lang. Dahil kanil-kanil lang, 21 niya. Eric Mick. And uh, Selena Cruz uh, acknowledges the foul. Although he's trying to say that he's in the act of shooting him. Uh, two shots for the BBK, Eric Mink. Two shots for Eric Mink. In the first game of the Karina, also a semi final round series between Magnolia and Air 21. Magnolia. Nanalo po against the import less Air 21 score there, 113-87. At ang balita, eh, si Stephen Thomas ay eh, darating bukas ba o parating na? Alam ko, nakasakay na si Eric Thomas. Eh, yeah. Hindi lang alam kung saan papunta. Saan papunta. Alam mo na ito. Saan mo ba kinili at hindi na pinapunta? Eric Wink for two. At dos na naman, ayun na naman ang agaw ng uh, oh, counter-steal. But the ball goes out of bounds in favor of Barangay Hinebra. Oh, that was a wasted opportunity para sa Barangay Hinebra. Good defense on the part of Celino Cruz. Two-on-one situation with Celino Cruz on his heels. Pero problema ron, kay Celino Cruz din ang galing. Yung pasa ron, ang agaw ni Eric Beck. Pampura lang ng pagkakamali. Eh. Oh. Kaguya playing hide and seek with uh, Giorgio Dunsil. Here's Selena Cruz. Leona Horda to Adam Parada. Balik kay na Horda, pero natapik ni Junti Valenzuela. Off now to J.J. Helterbrand. And the pass to Eric May. Nice pass break play there by Barangay Hinebra. And uh, they stave off the big run by Red Bull. Balik na naman sa 14. Ang abante ng Barangay Hinebra, Selena Cruz. Parada. Lamak Alexander. Inside to Jojo Dinsin. Parada left. Three seconds on the shot clock. Ay, no last, but Hernandez will be in the hold up for the follow-up. 
Well, that's been the story so far. You looked at that shot of Adam Parada. Yung mga tira ng Red Bull, niluluwa uh, palabas. Yun, yung mga tira ng Barangay Hineva sa first quarter, uh, first half, nilu- uh, iniinim naman palawod. Yes, niluluwa <laughs> <pa. laughs> Jonte's pass is broken up by Parada. Giorgio Dinsil against JJ. Oh, there's an example on the trail with another shot block. What a job not to give up on that play by Chris Alexander. Yung sinasahin po. Yung mga mainit-ikot sa ring, lumalabas sa uh, Red Bull. Pero dito, isang talpok, lusot. And that's a four-point swing dahil yung layup na yun, tinigil ni Ate uh, Chris Alexander. J.J. Helderbrand off the miss by Giorgio Dinsil. Junti. Did he get a pick to Eric Menk? Red Bull is running again. Pero mababa, baagang nakababa sa depensa ang uh, Hinebra. Parada. Ay, nandun si Lahor na sa ilalim. Hindi nakita. Way back! Yan yeah, o, no, pa isa-isang tira eh. And you can see the sharpness that uh, Red Bull doesn't have. Ilang beses natin na pinanggit ko. May mga libre sa ilalim ng basket pero hindi nila nakikita. That must be the layoff that they had because they were uh, out uh, because they didn't compete in the quarterfinals. Ano nga ba yun? Two weeks ago? Uh, sila less than, uh, less than two weeks para sa Red Bulls because they played in the final day of the elimination. That's right. Selena Cruz versus that one from top of the key. It's got a 14-point lead here for Barangay Hinebra. Three and a half or 3.35 remaining in the second quarter. Red, kita mo, both teams holding their shorts dahil ang bilis ng pace natin. Not a lot of baskets being made, pero takbuhan ang takbuhan parehong kapunan. Tala J.J. Helperbrand. Juti Valenzuela with a second to go. Steal by Leo Nahorda. And Juti Valenzuela trying to get it back. Will be called for the foul. Second personal. This uh, young man from Bugu, Cebu. This is Panali Junti, Sanglaan, Bugu, Cebu. This is Panali Junti, Sanglaan, Bugu, talking about uh, Red Bull really going deep into their bench. Ito, pumasok na. Si Reed Huntilla. Oh, ito yung kinuha nila itong conference lang na ito. No? For the... Uh, the agent pool. Oi! Carlos Baggio, walang mapuntahan. He picks it up. Kinaluwa. Wala. Oho! Sabi na ngayon na Honda. Ano? Kayo lang ba pwede? Ang mga magic magic? At saka, matali yung tira na yun. Dahil alam niya, nandun si Chris Alexander. Eh, hindi nga Chris Alexander. Strapping and hold! Kator sila naman ang abante ng barangay Hinebra. Parada, Puntilla, La Corda, sumaksak sa loob. Adam Parada. Nakakay lang rebound po lang si Parada. Kung konti pa lang, eh, no? dahil uh, sabi nga natin, parang uh, may konting uh, problema ito. Eh. It's only his fifth rebound, but the big thing is it. Scoreless for the game, ito yeah. si Adam Parada. That's right. All right, the score at the moment, 44, Barangay Hineba, 30. Red Bull, we have this timeout. Oh my God, kami ay katara ng sangkayan na bukros ng Pilipinas, labi na din dahato na Region uh, 8. Samantala, ang ating My Phone Dual Live Player, yan po si Coach Yang Yao. Ang My Phone Dual Live Player, ang ating sa'yo ng My Phone, talawang SIM, isang telepono, two SIMs, one phone, My Phone. Pwede ba maging our phone niya? Lapit na lang. Two and a half minutes to go. Dito po sa ating second quarter. At uh, kanina, umabot ng 21 ang lamang ng Barangay Hinebra. Parang uh, disorganized kanina ang uh, Red Bull. Pero nung uh, pinasok ni uh, Coach Yang, si uh, Jojo Dunsil, Leo Nakorda, uh, nagbago ang complexion, ano? nakapiaspo din na yan hanggang sampu. 
Pero umakit na naman sa 12 ngayon. Uh, a 14, no? Ngayon, 13. Uh, after that uh, free throw by Adam Parada. Second one is also good. First two points. Nang import ng Barangay Hinebra. You have to say this first half is dominated by Barangay Hinebra. But if Red Bull can get a good run here at the tail end of this half, Miski ang sama na simula nila. All of a sudden, they're back in this game and they might even have the momentum going into the second half. And Rafi Rivas trying to establish a momentum for himself. At, uh, yun. Uh, Pinuri siya ni Luis Alexander sa pamamagitan ng isang sapal. At swerte ka naman. Pinuri siya. Kayo lang. Kayo na lang kapurihin. But here's Barangay Hinebra. And yung line-up nila slowly nabubuo. Except for that injury to Ronald Dubin. Most of their guys are starting to get back in shape. One of the guys, ito nga si Rafi Ritos. And Chris Alexander displaying awesome four. What a Yakult slam dunk. Yakult every day. Every day, okay? Sigurado ka siya. I don't know. Uh, May 30 second timeout. Uh, you know, I've got some of that. Better for that. Two and uh, two minutes and nine seconds to go. You just had, I think, uh, the second quarter. We have a lot of fun at the best of seven. I think it's a final round. Uh, so you take a look at our top power, top players on points Kagiwa, rebounds McCaskill. It's a quarter final, Jenna. Assists uh, Artadi, steals uh, Artadi for him. And shot blocks. Why am I not surprised? Chris Alexander, a top power, top players brought to us by Top Power Energy Drink. Top Power Energy. Nagita kay Gayem, Ken Kakabsat, Tita Logan Luzon, o Ken Yarog, the PBA. Kamusta po kayo dyan? Naimbag na rabi namin na po. Ed Pixon po namang, kasama si Jason Webb. Dito po sa coverage ng ABC5 ng semi-final round ng uh, Smart Fiesta Conference. All right, Rafi Rivas uh, at the line here. Para sa Barangay Hinebra, they've got a 13-point lead. They've got 14 na naman as uh, Rivas makes both. Reed Huntilia. Leo da Jordan, and this is Alexander, Pinalo Bonutina, Reed Huntilla with the offensive rebound and the putback. Yeah, speaking of bonuses, has to be a bonus for okay, Coach Yengel. Your uh, third string uh, guard gets a basket, and that will do wonders for the team of Pianza and Reed Huntilla. What do we say to him with Reed Huntilla? When you're together with him, in his line-up, you can see him in his face. And uh, Ale uh, rather, Parada has a, weak, uh, a shot block for the top of the Cyrus Baggio tied up. Naku. Medyo pipilay pilay uh, si uh, Adam Parada. Pagkatapos po ng kanyang shot block na yun. Eh, naiulat po kanina yan ni uh, Patricia na may uh, iniinda po yan sa kanyang uh, kanang binti. No? At meron ngang tape yun eh. Uh, obviously, medyo na overextending mo na yan o na strain eh, kung uh, pagkalim niya kanina. He was trying to shake it off. Pero nagsumenis na siya sa bench na okay lang, kaya pa. Oh, yeah, that was the most effort that we've seen from him defensively. Yeah. Talagang hinabol niya yung uh, bola na yun. And uh, he felt it right after blocking that shot. Immediately after. Cyrus Maggio cuts the lead down to 11 at 46-35. A minute and 23 to go. Second quarter. Bon Artadi. Kadiwa. Shot, shot. And Sunday Salvation with the loose ball recovery and the two points. Cyrus Maggio. Dinobas kay Leo na Horda. Reed Huntilla. Uy, kasi butan na. But Mick Panisi recovers it. Ito na naman si Huntilla against Kadiwa. Back to Panisi inside to Parada. Di makatalun eh, no? Right jump shot man lang sana. Nandun eh, palira na yun. Pero pinasa pa niya. Obviously, because medyo yung... May nararamdaman ka sa katawan mo eh. Pinaalalayan niya yung kanang binti niya eh. Di na problema pala. Wow! Another slab by Chris Alexander Arcani for the assist. Ten points now. Para kay Chris Alexander. 
Huntina tries another three-point shot and it comes up short. Ayan ang problema pag hinebra ang kalaban mo pag ang mga kanyang mga tira hindi ka tatantanaan sa kantsaw. Morastani Salvasyon Kagiwa Ay Hindi ang kalahin yung Rivis yung pase Cyrus Baguio gets around Artani misses the shot but he'll get two shots from the line Alam mo ito si J.J. Heltovan Pero na palang anin na assists And in Red Bull As a team Tapu pa lang ang assist Kasi nga marami tayo mga one-on-one plays na nakikita And of course, plus they've been missing a lot Yeah Ito naman mga kaibigan Yung pakalawang Yakult Slam Dunk Yakult everyday, everyday okay Sigurado ka chan Chris Alexander na naman Cyrus Baguio with two free throws as a total of seven points. The timeout that is now tawag ang barangay here with 30 second timeout with 10 seconds remaining here in the first half of this game. At well, napansin talaga natin, Jason, ano yung condition ni Adam Parada. Although siya sabi niya at the start of the game na hindi naman yun ang laking problema. Palagay ko malaki ang problema. You can see it in his movement. You might argue that... Or lack thereof. Totoo. Pwede niyang i-argue na hindi kasi ako naka-ensayo kaya hindi medyo sharp ang mga galaw ko. Pero nakikita natin, couple of moves that he would usually go to, inaatrasan niya dahil, yun na nga, ang tingin natin, baka hindi siya 100%. O malamang hindi siya 100%. Yeah, well, kanina hinabul nga niya yung isang tira at pinalpal niya. Pero he paid the price for it. Naramdaman niya yung sakit. Mark Kadiwa, still, almost. Pero nung dumayad si Mark Kadiwa, tumama po siya dun sa sideline. So it's going to be a turnover. Two seconds to go in the second quarter. And here, a momentary look now. Aba pinupunasan po yung sahig. So two second play here para sa Red Bull. Let's see if they got something up their sleeves. Si Reed Huntinia ang maglalabas ng bola. Tumanggap si Cyrus Baguio and he takes it from Rocky Point. Tumama sa ring, ha? Not bad. But, uh, not bad. So, uh, napanatili po ng Barangay Hinebra ang kanilang uh, abante dito sa first half. But, uh, Red Bull was able to uh, Get a big bite out of that big lead. Kanina po ay 21. Sa pagtatapos mo ng ating second quarter, 13, 20, 37. Barangay Hinebra in the lead in game one of their best of seven semifinal round series. We'll be right back.